Hi everyone, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life and today is going to be my decorating week number 37. If you haven't watched my videos before, um, I do do a tutorial every week, usually about Fridays or Saturdays, um, showing you guys how I decorate my planner pages. So this week I am still using uh, my personal size cotton cream inserts and um, I usually decorate them by theme. This theme is going to be all about um, love and red, pink, and those types of colors. <clears throat> I just felt like we need to feel the love sometimes. So um, let's show you guys the items that I used to make this specific page. I did decorate one page just to give you guys an idea of how it's going to turn out. I will show you guys how to create this on this blank page here. Um, most of you do write in your appointments ahead of time and things like that. So um, either what I do is write them with a friction pen. And if you guys don't know what a friction pen is, it is an erasable pen. Sort of looks like this. This one is the retractable pilot friction pen. And um, I just write them in and then I erase them once I start decorating. But before I erase them, I do write them on a little sticky note, like so. For example, on September 12th, my daughter's um, picture day is coming up, so um, I will be placing a little note here once my pages are done. So, um, the washi tape I used for this tutorial was um, the Scotch Expressions washi tape in this lovely pattern. Floral with the pinks and the red um, peach flowers and then this cute um, heart washi tape I believe this one I did purchase from Michaels I think and then this one um, is available at your local office supply store Target Staples Office Max Office Depot um, they do sell that scotch washi tape and then the stamp I used here for the hearts Instead of using um, my usual um, checklist stamp like this or maybe these or my Muji stamp which I have over here um, I am using for this week this little heart shape stamp right there and it is a single stamp so what you do is you remove the clear stamp and you place it onto an acrylic, acry a cleric. Why, why can't I think of the word <laughs> acrylic? Okay, there you go. My brain's not working today. Okay, and place the stamp onto an acrylic. I can't say that word today. <laughs> acrylic block. Okay, and then um, I will show you guys how I get it so that it's all aligned there. And then um, for the page reinforces enforcements. Geez, I just can't talk today. I am using these whole reinforcements from Target. They are the Up and Up Target brand. And um, some stickers. I will be using some of these heart stickers. I purchased them off um, a big swap that we did online and then these stickers as well that have these hearts and love and those um, color scheme that I want. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I do use my Zacto detailed cutting scissors to cut my washi tape. So let's start off by just cutting a diagonal um, piece here because I don't want to block this date here. And you can see here that the spacing here is pretty small, but I still use the strip of tape because it is a little bit transparent. I can still see through it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a small diagonal line like so. And then I'm going to flip this around just to make the taping a little bit easier for me. And I'm just going to align it to the edge of that paper there.
like so. And the great thing about washi tape is that they are removable. Well, they should be removable. Some brands, like the um, smash tape brands, um, are not removable. So you might be aware of getting those types of tapes. Okay, so now, as you can see, I, I have it at an angle so that I can see the date there. And then let's go ahead and tape up the bottom. Luckily, this tape is a little bit thinner. So I can just go ahead and block off this little space right there. I'm just going to align that to the edge of the paper like so. Now, if you wanted to, if you don't want to sort of block some of that space there, you can definitely cut your washi tape in half, which I have done in uh, my previous videos using my little paper cutter. So that way you get two thin strips of tape. So now I am going to go ahead and just place the page reinforcements. And I love just decorating my pages every week because it's sort of my way of scrapbooking. I don't I used to love scrapbooking, which is why I'm so crafty. And I still make greeting cards, so I still have my supplies that I use. But I just don't have time for it. And this is so quick and easy to do. And you see it every day. So you feel proud of your work. So that's why I do this. So now I am going to stamp. Let's go ahead and stamp. So I'm going to, I have placed my stamp right in the middle here. And then between this. Uh, row right here and you'll see why um, I'm going to do that in a, in a bit here. The ink I am going to use is this Memento Rosebud. Um, the Memento inks come in this full size pad or a dew drop which I've shown in my previous videos as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. Just lightly dab it onto the ink pad. And now I am I want to place it um, at the edge of this side right here. So let's do one first. It's going to be about right there. I want it right there. Now as I go down, I'm going to use this middle line here and sort of make, I don't know if you guys can see this, okay, across right here, like so, and I'm going to place that right in the middle of that where I stamped it previously. I hope you guys can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can understand what I'm trying to talk about here. Whoops. Okay, let me zoom in. So, I'm going to put this here right below it and then you can see I'm going to align this little cross here right in the center of that heart so that I get enough spacing to write. Okay, let me show you guys how that is. And if you want a more um, crisp stamp, a trick you can do is go ahead and grab your mouse pad and place it underneath so that gives you a little bit more um, pressure as you're stamping. So let me find the cross there and place it right about there. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to keep going down 
the line here. Again, I'm aligning the hearts in that middle line and finding the middle of that cross. And just stamp. You guys can see that? Again, one more time, aligning the hearts and finding that last cross right there. It's going to be about right there. I'm going to do one more just right below it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue that all the way down the page there. I find that um, I'd like to put it here at the edge. on When I'm on my right side, I like to put it on the edge here because sometimes um, I write a little bit, I might write something a little bit longer or I might want to put a sticky note so that way it will fit. If I placed this stamp here in the middle, like I did here, then um, I wouldn't have as much space to put something. I don't know, it just works for me. That's how I do it. Um, sometimes I just want to be creative and put it in the middle, but I did find that. I did that last week and then I was limited kind of to the space that I have here. I think it was um, how far I put in the stamp, but um, I do like to use my sticky flags, which are about this size, so I can place it here and then just, you know, pop off a little bit. If I put the stamp here, I can either put a full one or same thing, put, like put it that way and crop off a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Let me continue stamping now. Let me zoom in again for you guys so you can really see how I'm aligning this. Okay. I am just looking at the camera. I'm not actually looking at the paper, so this is a little tricky to do, but if I wasn't using a camera in front of my face, it would be a lot easier, but I want to show you guys how to do this. And don't be afraid to try new things. And this is why I love this stamp set, because you can use squares, you can use hearts, you can use circles. All of them are included here. You can even use a star. Look at that. So that's really handy. Okay. So that one was a little bit better. I like the spacing there. I'm going to do that again. It right about is it right about there or so? Okay. I'm trying to find the cross. If you guys have any suggestions on something you may want to see me do then please go ahead and um, leave a comment down below I would love to get some inspiration from you guys um you know what color themes or something that I may not have done before that you may want to see so definitely let me know can either email me, message me on Facebook. I know it's a little bit confusing because I do have two Facebook pages. 
I have my personal one and um, the one for my blog so if I decline you you know why okay we're almost at the bottom here okay just two more and we're about set and what's great about this too is that you can make as many rows as you need to if you need five oh look I made a boo-boo it happens the page is kind of curling up here okay there you go I'm happy with it that's fine if I wanted to I could probably even cover up that boo-boo with a heart sticker or something so that way if you're OCD like that <laughs> you can cover that up with a heart which I will probably do right now nah it's okay okay so let's go ahead and embellish this thing with some stickers wait let's write in our little appointments first so you guys can really see how I do this because how I kind of really start off the week okay so now that my pages are done I'm gonna go ahead and write in all my little notes and um, appointments and whatever events okay and I like to use either masking stickers or again my sticky flags to um, make my appointment stand out. Um, I love using these masking stickers. These are not washi tape but they look like washi tape. Lots of different patterns and whatnot um, that you could use. These are just like stickers but they're strips of stickers. I'm gonna look for like a heart pattern. I saw it here somewhere. There you go. I like this one. This one's cute. And I'm going to just out a strip here if it will let me a lot of these things too they don't they didn't cut it very well so what you have to do is grab like a zacto knife I have this one right here this is my package opener and I'm just going to follow the line here and just cut it a little bit because they didn't cut it very well. Okay. You can definitely use a ruler if you wanted to. To make sure you really get that cut. Now look at that. Is it the whole thing? Oh boy. I think it's the whole thing. Yep. Just very lightly. It's cut, but it's just not totally cut. Okay, there you go. I have my strip now. I got this at Daiso, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay, so now I have my strip. I am going to... Picture day is September 12th. Place that... Mm, right about here in the bottom just so that if any other appointments come up I can write them up as I go so I'll start from the bottom and work my way up or usually what I do as well is that in my mind I can I visualize like okay the top is like morning stuff in the middle is more like afternoon and the bottom is more like um, late night or something. I just visualize it that way. But. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that in half. And I always save the scraps because you can reuse this for something somewhere, somehow. And I'm going to get uh, my pink friction marker. I meant friction pen. You know what? I said marker, so why don't I use a marker? Do I have a pink friction marker? 
one? No, I don't, but I have a red one. I think red will be fine. Yeah, let's just do red. Why not? I love these friction color markers, and they are erasable. So I'm just going to put here, picture day. And I like to, like, write in different fonts. make it fun. I'm probably gonna put like a picture of a camera or something like that there. Okay and then Wednesdays the 11th I am going to hmm, let's see get my friction pen again and write and I think I'm gonna be writing in pink this week. So I'll use my pink pen and my daughter has ballet at 7.30 so it's, since it's in the evening I'm going to put it here on the bottom again. I'm just going to write here 7.30 and then what I'm going to do is this stamp set has a where is it lesson stamp which is great so I can just grab that stamp instead of writing it, I can stamp it. So I'm just going to grab that Lessons really quick. Grab this. Take off that. Now, this, you don't want to lose it because it's super tiny. So make sure you put it back right away where it belongs. And luckily it's printed so you know where it goes. Okay. And I'm going to take my lesson stamp. Make sure it's not upside down. I'm just going to place that right there in the middle. And push down on it on just your desk so that it gets even pressure all throughout. I'm going to use the same ink oh, that I used for my hearts. Slightly dab it. Make sure it's all inked up. I'm going to put that right here. Like so. So now it says lessons. And if something comes up, because I did stamp it already, I can just cover that up with some washi tape or with a sticker, or with a sticky flag. I am going to now just embellish a few things here with my stickers. I'm gonna take this love, love, love sticker. Also, these transparent stickers are not cut good sometimes as well. Jeez, do I need to cut this one up too? Come on. Okay, there it is. I'm just going to put that here um, on top of Saturday and Sunday to kind of separate the weekdays from the weekends. There is fine. Like so. And then I am going to write in a few more things here that are important. Um, just my usual what I do. Like Wednesdays is when I film my next deco, which will be number 38. I will usually edit it the next day. I made a boo boo. This is why I love erasable pens because I always make boo boos. Deco number 38. Upload. Deco number 38. I blog here my week 
So at the end of the week, I will show you guys how this all turns out. Usually by Sunday, I need to film here as well. Film my video series and this will be number three and I will upload it here upload video number three and then here I will edit it edit video number three and then do I have a review coming up? I might and I usually post it on Mondays load my review I think it's gonna be markers and uh, that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys um, this has helped you to plan out your pages better and decorate prettier and I don't forget to check on Sunday or so on my blog to see how it all turns out and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!